Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. You can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me in August tonight. He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Can you drive to this one? Greeting you. You have the address? It's the alley off the lease of the Los Angeles Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, though. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, folks. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. For Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Kiss the blood, BD. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered. Yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Can we discuss this later? If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. May as well follow the trail. Bell, you'll want to come and take a look at this. Antonia. Oh, same as the library card.
proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains, no way is this coincidence. On it goes. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Where are you taking us? Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Emerald and gold plated. This was precious to her. The trail points up. from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Son of a bitch, once her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Any ideas? Let's check that library card address. See where our dead lady comes from. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. 
But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wop your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. What are we waiting for? Will you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. You've had a break-in? 
No! That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the cake. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the Eldorado bar. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? A nosy old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the XY's line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Where's that goddamn waitress? Sam is taking me to Palm Springs. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. she was wearing. She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. she attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. 
Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. I got a call back for that Universal Chorus line. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick Fruit Market across the street. Fruit Market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, though. No big deal. After a while, you should know who it is. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Why, Pando? Luxury that any woman can avoid. Just a few cents a case. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy? Aldonado is in apartment 304. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. I got a hundred pounds of wife. Now look, I don't want no trouble with these. I'm quietly with them, Albinado. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? You get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked Fruit Market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place.
This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angle's movements. He's got no alibi. He's told. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. No good. There's nobody here. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia killer has been found. Thanks for your help. Any ideas? You heard the call. Put your foot down. Skipper doesn't like to be kept waiting. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. I recognize that guy from the papers. He's a cop. Boy. Come on in. Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Straight through the red light. Let's never try.
heap upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Keep me posted on your case. Maybe get back to mine. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. Phelps, you mind coming here and doing your job for a second? Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Ippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the... El Dorado Bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. 
What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just nods away to the guts. How? Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted on the fucking side. Sir, I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the sniff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Are you working for anything?
This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, though. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Help! You gotta get me closer! Hit him, Cole! Spit him out! This asshole off the road. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. <laughs>